The top five small outboard motors for 2022. We are here at the 2022 Minneapolis International Boat Show. I'm here with my good friend Todd Larson from Bassmore Trail Guide Service. He's got tens of thousands of hours piloting uh, small outboards on lakes in northern Minnesota for his guide service. Between him and his three or four other guides, they've probably owned, what, 100 small horsepower engines throughout the years. Between 20 and 40 horses. And we're going to do the top five small outboard motors for 2022. When I lived on Dog Island, Florida, water access only, I took my kids to school on the boat every day. And on my little dinghy boat, well, when I say little, it's 18 foot, this is the exact motor I had on. Hey everybody, I'm Captain Peterson. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you believe in continuous improvement, you love outdoor adventures with your friends and you like cool gear, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. We have many more videos to come. Number one, Honda 20 horse. What has been your experience with this 20 horse? I know you just switched over to a bunch of these. I did, I actually own three of them right now. The longevity of them order is there. It runs forever and don't have a lot of problems, so I don't have a lot of maintenance problems. Really like how quiet it is. Super quiet, I've been super on quiet. Them. Many days in the boat, people are like, are your motor running? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, it is. You can actually hear the, the water stream coming out the back louder than the motor running. It's compact, it's lightweight. I can lift it on and off the boat, no problem by myself. Servicing it, changing the spark plugs is really easy if you need to do that. I have, Actually, I don't think I've ever had to do that. I do check them just to make sure they ain't carbon up or anything. Unbelievable fuel economy. I used to run uh, with a 15 horse Johnson. I used to run about six to eight gallons in a day of fishing. I'm down to 2.5 gallons a day. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video so you can see the wild card in this video. It is the motor that Elon Musk wishes that he had on his boat. You're normally running 14 and 16 foot boats with these? Correct. What's your uh, experience running this 20 horse in, in that category? Um, it gets me on plane. Um, one of the reasons we went from a 15 to a 20 horse on the boats we're running mm -hmm. is that with two other guys and myself on there, we can get up on plane and get to go to fish. Cut a half an hour off of my trip every morning. Awesome. Yeah, and a half an hour back, I get home a half an hour early. And that's with two other large guys in the boat? Correct. Seems like the Honda 20 horses have a lot more power than some of the other brands. I actually can't say anything bad about the Honda 20 horses. Right. It's been a bulletproof motor for us. Number two on your list, Todd. Honda 25 slash 30 horse. Yep. Um, same size block. Same power heads. Same yep. power heads. So um, I think it's just a computer remapping mm -hmm. that, that they go by to, to make it a 30 horse. They've F been brand. using this power head, I think, for 10 or 15, maybe even 20 years. Oh, and it's been it's, a long I mean, I can't imagine there's many outboards on the market that they've used the same power head for so long. Yeah. Again, it's it's a very quiet motor. Yep. It's um, compact. Um, if you look at some of the sizes of some of the other motors, it's, it's quite a bit, 25% smaller. Um, Weight-wise, it's not real heavy um, as far as four strokes go. Um, and it has a lot of power. For the 25 and the 30 horses, we're running about, uh, some days we're running 21 miles to where we fish with this size motor. All the way 21 miles there and all the way back and I'm running about five gallons of gas. Yamaha 25 horsepower. When I lived on Dog Island, Florida, water access only, I took my kids to school on the boat every day. And on my little dinghy boat, well, when I say little, it's 18 foot, this is the exact motor I had on. And uh, it got us to and from safely all the time. Never had any issues with reliability. Started up like crazy, and it barely sipped fuel. I think it was like a, a gallon of fuel, maybe 1.1 gallons, to go about 18 miles round trip. So, uh, if you need to run long distances, this is one of my favorites. What do you think about this guy, Doug? Longevity. Yeah, that's my thing. Yamaha's longevity on a motor. If you want to buy one motor for the cabin that's going to last you a long lifetime, you're going to give it to your kids and they'll probably give it to their kids' kids. Yamaha. I actually think they're probably a great deal, or they are a great deal. They're, a great, they're a great deal for what you get. They're light. They've got full start and electric start, which is awesome. Yep. You can get them a tilt and trim, or you can get the ultralight model with just the regular old, old school, you know, gear of the tilt and trim. Yep. I had my engine for a year and I sold it, and I think I sold it for $300 less than what I bought it for new. Yeah, it's like the resale value on these is amazing. We have a lot of hours, we run them eight well, hours, everybody hours knows the history of the Yamaha two-stroke engines. They were legendarily tough, because they, they made the best motors. Yeah. And I guarantee you, the four-strokes are gonna be just in that same category, which, like you said, we shine at the top. Yeah, I have one, I can't tell you how many hours, but it's thousands, not on there, it's with thousands of hours on it. The cool about this one is it has fuel injection that uses the power that the motor itself generates. You don't have to have a battery to 
around the fuel injection. It's super light. It's only 126 to 132 pounds. Even with tilted trim, that's crazy. Yeah, it's only that's only 20 pounds heavier than a two-stroke. I really wish that they would be able to um, have a 30 horse in, in the same 25 frame in the yeah, same weight. Not so heavy. They're not so heavy, but they don't have that yet. The 30 is the 40 power. We have the Suzuki 25 slash 30 horse. What's been your experience with this? I have no experience with this one. Um, we have a lot of experience. Um, the first one a buddy of mine bought. I was really impressed with the power of it, the 25 horse. Yeah. Um, he was blowing everybody out of the water as far as um, hauling a load of people or a load of gear down the okay. lake where we were camping. Fuel economy is there. They, they're right up there with any of the other ones that we run. What would be your cons on this guy? We had one little issue with it. We had a power head come loose, but um, it was under warranty and Suzuki took care of us and they got it all fixed up. Warranty for him, I got a six year warranty on the motor. I run them for six years and then usually I sell them after that and get a new one with the warranty on What's it. What's your so, resale value like then? Unbelievable. Like I can almost get what I paid out of the motors. I run them for six years and then I might lose eight, nine hundred dollars on the motor. Very little maintenance on it, easy to change the oil on them. This is the last but not the least, probably one of the best engines in the class. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see us do videos of these type of engines and stuff on the water, let us know in the comments below or reach out to the manufacturers. The 25 slash 30 horse Mercury. Mercury's been on the water forever. They have. Yep. They're really fuel efficient. It's the first quiet. motor I ever used as a kid. I can't tell you how many Mercury's I have owned over the years. I've had hundreds of hundreds. Mercury motors, yeah. And um, my mom's still running a 1980 Thunderbolt. I prefer the Mercury for the shift in the handle on the smaller airports. Yeah, it's super nice. They've it always is. had like the, the better control. The, and... Yep, if you're not used to using it, it's gonna take you a little while to get used to it, but once you get used to it, you're really gonna like it. You don't have to take your hand off of it. The longevity of the motor isn't a whole lot of maintenance on it. Mercury probably has one of the best warranties on the market. Fuel economy is there. It's the same as any of the other ones that we talked about. Pretty close. It's pretty easy to find a prop, a prop it up or down if you need to do that. It's really cool that it's an American company, you know, being a veteran admitted something like that. The 25 and the 30 horse on these are the same power head. Yep. yep. So if you need a little bit more horsepower and your post allows for it with Coast Guard ratings, you can go up to a 30 horse. They're, They're maybe a little bit heavier yeah, than yeah, the Yamaha, the Yamaha was 128 for a long shaft and these are like 165. The motor that Elon Musk wishes that he had on his boat. The e-propulsion, this is an awesome little motor. It is fully electric. You can get it in different sizes. If you really want to be a little bit different and challenge the status quo, put one of these little outboards on your boat. It'll be super quiet and stealthy, and uh, you know, you'll be saving the fish. Baits, um, this one here is perch color crankbait. It's uh, our number one forage is perch um, crayfish. So we run a lot of stuff that looks um, like a perch or a crayfish. Another color is purple descent we use. Um, why purple works good, I have no clue. It's not something that you see as a bait fish up here. I heard it was but, because uh, of Prince. I mean, it's from Minnesota. Minnesota Prince, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 These fish like saying music. So, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, so we're going to run it behind the boat about 65. If this video is everything you expected it to be, please check out the top five video that's on the link on your screen. I'm sure you'll like it. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.